it's not Siberia <laughs> because I get that question a lot and people always ask me, oh, is it really cold? And then I explain them, no, it's not <laughs> Siberia, it's Serbia. People have stereotypes that Serbia is actually Siberia and that it's in Russia, somewhere cold or wilderness, I heard that too. But Serbia is actually in the middle of the Balkan Peninsula. It's right next to Greece. People probably know where that is. It's more it has like a city vibe, like more of a, there's like a lot of culture, a lot of history. And it's not the wealthiest country in the world, but we have a lot of other things to offer. And Serbia is also a small country, you know, like you can barely see it on a map. So I, I don't blame them all the time for not knowing where Serbia is, but like, you know, I would, you know, I would assume that some of the people know where it is. It has like around 3 million people, really easy going people, really friendly. I'll say people in Serbia really love their country and, uh, and then really when we came here, when we go, uh, people ask us a lot about home and then I think we know a lot of, about our history and uh, where we're actually coming from, so, uh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't know anything. I didn't even know anything about America. It was just interesting. I wanted to experience something new and study and play volleyball at the same time and that was possible here. So the only thing I actually found out was from the internet, like San Diego is a nice city, nice weather. That's the only thing I knew. Well, I was in Kansas last year, so I kind of knew a lot about about America and, uh, and California. I came here on my visit and I just loved it because uh, in Kansas there was uh, but it was awful snowing so much, so I was like, I wanted to come here and uh, enjoy this weather, you know. Same thing, I knew it was beautiful, that the weather is really nice. Uh, there was a guy from Serbia on the men's tennis team, and through him I learned a lot about the school, and he helped me come here, and I think he does a lot of things for you too. So through him we learned quite a bit. Because in Serbia it's way different than here, like you either go to school, where you play sports, and I kind of wanted to do both as Marta. So yeah, that's why that's why I came here. The big difference is that in Serbia it's not really possible to do basketball or whatever sport and going to school at the same time. You got to kind of pick one thing what you want to do. So that was one of the reasons why me and probably Sandra came yeah, to the States, because we can do both things at the same time. I didn't know what I wanted to do after high school, so I just decided to make the video, why not, and send it to colleges and see what happens. And one day I got a call from Brent and I think I was probably his easiest recruit ever because he only watched my video once, he talked to me twice and that was about it. He just sent me papers and I was like, okay, I'll just come. And that was about it. It was pretty easy. From Nico, I heard about Sandra because she was already here and then everyone else just came after me. So I knew about her and I was excited to meet her. It's really nice when you see someone and she, like did you know coming to a match obviously and she would al always bring a lot of her t whole team so that means a lot for a tennis match and I always try to go uh, when I can to her matches and I don't know I just think it's really fun when you're able to say come on in Serbian in the tennis court or at the volleyball match and I know she's gonna hear me and know that I'm there. I knew I knew Marta she was a semester she came here a semester before me so I knew her from tennis tournaments and, and from practices. It was definitely helpful knowing that there's a, there's a couple of Serbians here so I can, I can still speak Serbian and they can, they can uh, show me around, they can explain to me how, how this whole process goes. And actually over the summer we went to his house once, they invited us, my whole family came and we had a really nice lunch. It was really nice. These tennis players that play here right now, they came later and I was very excited when I heard they're gonna come. Especially with Vasa too, like I was in his recruiting process too and that was really exciting. I always want more Serbians to come here. <laughs> Feels more like home. I felt best here. And also my recruiting visit was really good here with uh, Sandra, who also told me a lot about school. You know, it's always nice to have someone uh, from your country who can tell you like, how are things here, you know? San Diego is really spread city. Like people live in huge houses. I come from a family where we live in a really small apartment and that's how most of the Serbians live in Belgrade. Just really small apartment, like a huge center city. Everyone likes to walk around. I think we eat a lot of barbecue, a lot of meat there. 
Uh, <laughs> that's that's what I love the most. You go. <laughs> I can't pick one. I think. Well, it's like we we eat a lot of meat. You know, a lot of meat and bread. Piaskovica. Yeah. So yeah, she said. And chivapi. There's no translation. I've tried. Soccer and uh, basketball, men's wise, and uh, volleyball is like the main sport for girls. No, say tennis. <laughs> yeah, tennis. No, really number one because we have you Novak know, Djokovic. He's number one in the world right now for some time. Novak Djokovic, of course, tennis. That's becoming even more popular now. But volleyball for sure for girls, and then we have basketball. Very, very popular. Like games are always full, and the crowd is crazy. It's just amazing. Yeah, everybody plays tennis in Serbia. Yeah, you, know you can you see play? them on the street, like little kids just put a small net and then they just like yeah. play volleys or something, or like behind the buildings, tennis is everywhere. Yeah. <laughs>